and we're doing the uh, elephant series uh, or the African series so this will be the first or the second one of this series this is baby elephant to get started what we'll do is grab a pencil and a ruler and we're going to measure up to where the waterline will be this is because it's a series of three paintings and we want them all the same so when they sit together uh, they're all level so we're going to mark a 10 centimetre and 11 centimetre and you'll see why we'll have two markings so we'll just do that on both sides a 10 centimetre and 11 centimetre and we'll grab a little bit of tape and put in some tape and this will put in the horizon line and this one we're going to paint down so we're going to paint the sky first and we'll paint the sky down to this mark and then because then we've got to paint below that, that's when we'll make, move the tape down. Um, so then we can sort of like paint um, the next line. Okay, so what we're going to do is start with the sky. With the sky here, we're going to make up, uh, there's a few colours in there, orange, pink and yellow. So we're going to pour out some yellow, some white and red. So we need the red to mix up with the orange for the very top. And then we're going to mix up some white, uh, which will make the pink for the middle of the sky. So we just need those three colours initially. So we just grab our little brush, mix in a little bit of yellow with some red. And well, we'll start at the bottom. We'll start with some yellow here. So just a little bit of water in with the paint, just thins it down a little bit. And then what we'll do is we'll stretch that yellow all the way up with a fair bit of water. Now you'll notice that the paper will start going a fairly, fairly ripply because we do use a lot of water on here but that's fine like uh, the, the paper does flatten out after if you look at that watercolour painting there of the elephant uh, that was exactly the same it just ripples up with so much water but when it dries out it flattens out and you can always just put it under some books and flatten it out a little bit more so we're just going to use a lot of water stretch this yellow up pretty much as far as we can go because we do overlap a little bit with the pink and when the pink does hit the yellow it goes to a nice apricot sort of colour anyway and then we like to put some extra little clouds in there anyway so we'll uh, take that up as far as we can with that yellow using a fair bit of water stretch it up and as you can see I'm just using water there it sort of eventually will dissipate into the painting, but that's fine. Okay, so this is the stage where we do need that little bit of red and we can make up this orange. So we just want a tiny little bit of red in with some yellow and it's going to go orange really fast, so we don't need a lot of red. So we can use a fairly opaque mix up the very top because we, use, we will use a lot of water just to spread that back down into the sky fairly opaque top up there and I've got my tape going up and around the uh, painting so that will hold pretty much any of this paint even if it's watered right down and it's running it, um, it always seems to hold it there so it's fine okay so just use um, a heap of water that stretches down and then I'll actually use a bit of white and putting a little bit of white mixes it in to make it a little bit more of a goldy orange so it just makes the color look so much better especially for a sky and then we can just stretch this down as much as possible with that white light orange using heaps of water stretch it all the way down as far as you can and then the last step in that sky we'll be putting the pink through the middle sort of bring that down as far as possible so when the paint meets it okay so we're going to mix up a little bit of pink now so what we're going to do is grab a little bit of red mix it in with the white now you don't need a lot of red it's going to go fairly 
hot pink we want probably more of a strawberry pink anyway but yeah just mix that in and then just straight through the middle here we're going to put in our pink for our clouds going through the middle here and we can put a fairly opaque strip through the middle and then we can water that down a fair bit of water maybe a bit more white just when we stretch it up and meets the other colors so we just pull this all the way down as you can see i'm using a fair bit of water there so you can just use your finger to wipe over it if there's too many drips okay so using a bit of white in here mixing a little bit of white in with that pink and just using that to help stretch that pink down so it goes to a bit more of a baby pink not so much white but uh, in the uh, more of a baby pink stretching down into the yellow we're gonna have some extra pink clouds going through there anyway so they do go a little bit lower and then we'll use a little bit more white i'll have to get a bit more white out so that i can blend that pink up the top back into my orange sky up into the stratosphere so we'll grab a little bit more white in there and we'll start stretching that white that pink up into the into the orange so these colors they all blend together so that's where yeah if you're not sort of having exact lines you want it to blend in so if it looks a bit too stripy you just blend in the colors a little bit more so we don't want to look too too stripy so we do want to some we're putting a fair bit of water in there just to blend that down a bit so once i've got a good blend there i'll put in some extra clouds so basically these are just a few pink stripes like lower stripes and then i'll use the white again just to blend it in so i've got a few more extra little clouds in i'm just using a little bit of white on top so basically the color clouds will normally catch the color from underneath from where the sun is then it'll um, the clouds always go fluffier as they go higher up and so that's why they'll sort of fluff out fluff out into that white fluffy top bit so clouds are normally fairly flat at the bottom fluffy at the top bouncy at the top so just using a bit of extra white just to Pull that out so this one here i do actually have a little bit of that sun actually sitting in there so i'm actually going to put in a little bit of a round white circle and then sort of blend that in and that's why on the reflection on the elephant here we've got a fair bit of white in the middle where it's actually the reflection of that white sun that's sitting there in the middle and i'll just blend that in a little bit with the rest of the sky If you want it to look a bit more like a definite sun you could put like a little bit more color up and around it making a little bit more of a round circle but yeah i've got it not as visible i've just got like it in the white but yeah that's how you sort of make it really stand out if if you if you want a vibrant sun sitting there is actually put that a little bit of that round circle going up and around it which does look amazing in some paintings Okay, so that's pretty much it for the sky. So we'll change colour over to the black, but we'll have a sip now. So we'll have a sip between drinks. Cheers. And this is a good time to pause the video. Hey, I hope you've been enjoying the paint and sip session. These are actually paid sessions, so you've just had a bit of a taster of the first part of the session. You can go online and just purchase the balance of it, and I've got a whole heap of variety of paintings available, so basically you can get a really good deal. Okay, cheers.